Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. Coaches, if you're looking for great drills, look no further than Basketball Coach Weekly, a great place that will deliver drills to your inbox and it will improve your players and your team. Now let's talk about the Knicks and the Triangle offense. Nobody was happier than me when Phil Jackson took over and then hired Derek Fisher to put the Triangle offense in. It's the offense that I run with my teams and I count Tex Winter as a mentor of mine who helped me to install it on my team. So I went through what the Knicks were doing in Vegas and also I want to show you how Mello can plug himself into these actions to get really good shots. And you know what? It's pretty exciting. The Triangle is a two guard front and this is something every team struggles with right off the bat. You can see how Galloway struggles with all the options he has on the wing, and once the rhythm is disrupted by players cutting too early, the offense bogs down. However, they rediscover the triangle on the right side, cut through after the low post entry, and get a score on a nice face-up isolation. Notice how Galloway started on the wing, then set a pin down, then opened up to get great post-up position. Imagine Mello doing this, then finishing with a move like this. Something everyone must learn in the triangle is that it's almost impossible to penetrate with a drive off the first pass to the wing. Your teammates end up being in your way, and it disrupts everything. This alignment will definitely prevent Mello from isolating off of one pass and trying to force his way to the rim. The Knicks began showing advanced concepts by feeding the low post, then swinging it to form a triangle on the other side. However, their personnel struggled with basic footwork as you can practically hear the gears grinding in their heads. Many young players these days struggle with passing to the low post since college does not give them many game reps anymore, and the triangle can't function without accurate passing. The basic option out of the low post entry is to have the wing and corner players speed cut to the hoop. Watch Shannon Brown set up his man with gorgeous footwork and a nice drop off pass gets them a layup. The cutting action off the post up will really help Mello, who almost never had a cutter to pass to and most often had to take his post ups into his own hands. After the wing feeds the post, he's supposed to cut through the middle of the lane, then screen for the weak side forward. For much of the summer league, the Knicks forward struggled to do this. Without that weak side screen, the offense tends to stagnate very quickly, leading to bad results. The initial look of the offense once the ball goes to the low post is for the post player to look to score, and it would be easy to imagine Mello playing this position quite a bit. The second option of the triangle is called pinch post, where the ball is passed from the wing to the top of the key. The weak side forward cuts to the pinch post area, which is just above the free throw line and outside the lane line. This is a great play when the footwork is correct, but because the forward didn't pivot to get the ball handler's man on his back, he couldn't receive the easy pass back, and this play becomes a turnover. The other fundamental of the pinch post play that is crucial is the pitch. You can't throw the ball in the direction of the receiver. It should be tossed straight up so he can run right into it. The triangle has a flow to it, and if the initial pinch post action doesn't get a shot, there is a pin down and dribble pitch taking place on the weak side, where they find Cleanthony early open for a nice corner three. After the guard cuts around the pinch post, the offense flows to a dribble pitch for the cutter out of the corner to get a good look. This action should be somewhat familiar to Carmelo, and it's the reason he could easily lead the league in scoring from highly efficient built-in action like this. Most teams run some sort of pinch post action, and you can see why it's so effective as the guard's man easily ends up trailing a play that creates an easy drive towards the hoop. As the Knicks got more comfortable with this play, they became more clever with their moves as Galloway fakes the pitch and gets the jumper. With this play already baked into the basic offense, Carmelo Anthony should feast on opposing defenses that can't stop him from the pinch post. And it's the focus on Melo that will open up plays on reverse action for shooters like Tim Hardaway, who already looks very comfortable getting perimeter shots out of the triangle. 
If the guard gets the ball back on the pitch but can't get to the hoop, the triangle automatically breaks into a pick and roll, and Larkin started to get more comfortable as the games went on. As the entire summer league team got used to running their patterns, they were able to break out of those from time to time for some clever action. Instead of the guard cutting on the outside of the pinch post, he ran a speed cut right to the hoop for a layup. And if the pinch post fakes the handoff, he has the option of a dribble pitch back to the strong side guard. Here the guard fakes and cuts back door for another gorgeous play. And there were times, despite the shot clock, where they really got great flow. On this play, they initiated with the first option low post feed, cut through, then swung it to a modified pinch post. Without hesitation, they had five men moving together and it opened up a good shot. The Knicks barely looked to run the third or fourth options at all during their time in Vegas, but here's an example of that third option, line pig, where the weak side forward flashes to the free throw line and the guard on top cuts back door. This triggers a down screen for the corner, who comes all the way around for an open look. And then there's the fourth option, corner pass, which triggers a back screen for the passer, then a ball screen in the corner. We did see a set of the triangle high post, which triggers a split between the two guards, and this gets good movement and penetration, and an open three-point shot out on top. And it's a similar action we saw the Knicks run every so often that again gets the defense focused away from Melo on the weak side, enabling him to get open and destroy with his awesome arsenal. So there you have it sports fans, some very encouraging signs, and when you plug in some other NBA cal caliber players, we should see some really good action. And don't forget, the triangle offense not only gets you good shots, but it also puts you in position to get back on defense, something the Knicks struggled with mightily last year. So those things kind of go hand in hand, and we might see better offense lead to better defense and a better record. Well, stay tuned for a lot more coming up. I got a Coach Carter breakdown coming up for you. If you didn't miss uh, our other Knicks uh, discussion with JR Sport Brief earlier this week, check that out. And don't forget, sports fans, at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win, 